Steam. I mean, we all know it. It's where you go to play all of your favorite games like Elden Ring, Apex, Obama Maze. Okay, let's be real here. That title screen tells you everything you need to know. Upon heading into the tutorial, I realized that, yes, this is exactly what I had expected. Uh, okay, I, fe I feel very welcome, actually. So now, yeah, why is the text all the way up there? That's hard to read. It didn't take me long to find the first evidence of Obama. Oh, I found the... What? Obamium? <laughs> Uh, let's see. Oh my god. <laughs> After being jump scared by Obunga, it took me a bit to realize that I had in fact died on the tutorial level, which is a new low even for me. I'm terrified. Oh, okay. That's, that's like... They do not give you enough time for that. Especially with the text all the way at the top. I'm not able to walk that way. Okay, made it through. Okay, so... The trap, so I press... Wait, what the... What the... <laughs> He is. <laughs> With the tutorial completed, it was time to head into the true challenge, the normal maze. For those who aren't aware, I am terrified of horror games. I can't play them. They are not something that I enjoy. But I gave this one a chance though, because I mean, it, it's Obama. How bad could it possibly be? Oh, how naive I was. I can't really procrastinate for any longer. Uh, let's let's begin. I don't like that. I don't like the fact that he's close. He's coming. Where? I, I'm, I'm terrified. Where? Where is he? He's, he's nearby. I'm cornered. Where? Okay. So. Oh my. I, I I don't I don't like this game. Okay, so I on second thought I probably should not have cornered myself. That was probably not my best idea. Oh it. Oh I found a trap. Okay, that's actually might be useful. So there's one here. When that happens, I just need to run this way. Okay. Okay. I hear him. He's close. Please don't see me. This way. I hear him. Oh my! Huh. I'm just in disbelief, honestly. Yeah, so at that point I decided that I was done with that game. Instead, I think I'll play some Fortnite. Oh, I'm sorry, did I say Fortnite? I meant Super Animal Battle Royale, a game best known for not including a pyramid-shaped render of Obama's face. Honestly, just added as DLC at this point. Okay, so all the- all- everything I know about this game comes exclusively from the Steam page. So... oh, that's cool, there's a roll. That's a good start. That's- those are not weapons. Okay, there's an AR, what is that? I don't even know what this is. That does not seem very good. Oh, is that a grenade? That is a grenade. Or is it not a 
it it was in fact a grenade. Okay, back on the eagle from Angry Birds, you know the one, like from the movie. It's an emu. Oh my god, it's an emu. Okay, this is what we're, this is what I'm looking for. Let me go up here. Oh, there's a guy. I'm gonna one do on this kid. Oh my god, I, I'm better. What's this skill? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm a skill. What? Did I swarm? Oh my, I'm better. I must not go that way though. Alright, how do you get more shield though? Is a question I'm wondering. Although I am in top 5 with multiple kills. Without any, without, with two grave. Oh my god. I right, there he is. Okay. Well, you know, that was a good round. Well, I'm better. I'm actually just better. Okay, I gotta find some more shield. Unless there's a way I can, like... What does the tape do? Oh my god, the tape repairs the armor. That makes sense. Oh, that's someone. Thank god I figured out that the tape still works like that. Oh, that's a person. I hit him. Someone was just here, considering. That... Oh. Okay. Various. What surprised me most about Super Animal Royale was just how well made it was. Like, this is a game that I'm surprised I hadn't heard of before, and although it wasn't the only one of these that I enjoyed playing, it feels like a game that I might actually end up going back to every once in a while. Plus, it has rideable emus, so I can't not like it. But after playing all of these new games, I decided that I had to return to the classics. Enter We Tanks. But better. So, let's see, so what do I do here? Oh, I can walk through those? I didn't mean to do that. So, so was this just a battle royale? I should really stop running into bullets, that seems like a good idea. Okay, look at that. Boom, I'm better. I, I you know, this, this, this is fun. Not, not a whole lot to it. I, I say as I get obliterated by the AI. Let's see. This can go through walls? What's this? Okay, here, I can get that. No. I think there's one over here. Oh. I tried. Yes, yeah, so this game, I mean, I mean, it's fun. I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm enjoying playing the game, but like, I don't know. I feel like the generated, the randomly generated levels, they're just like, there's a lot of variants in them, which I mean, obviously they're random, but like, you can have like 1v1 in tanks, you'd have 13 tanks that are against you, like, I mean, it, it adds to the excitement, but also sometimes you just die immediately and there's not a whole lot you can do. But overall, I, I don't know, I'd say this is a pretty good game. I mean, I, I, I don't have any major complaints about it other than that. It, it's it's fun, fun arcade style. I mean, I don't know, what, what more can you expect? What more could you ask for indeed, other than maybe a burger? The Industrial Revolution and its Consequences Okay, so for some reason OBS decided to randomly stop filtering out my keystrokes from the recording, so uh, I'm sorry, I guess. Uh, so I'm not 
entirely sure what to expect here, but I think that's a good thing, honestly. Okay. Cool. See, I, no, I, I think I got this. Uh, no, I don't. There we go, that's, that's what we're looking for. There's a can of beans. What does that do? Is that a checkpoint? Here, hold on. You know what? Inventory. You know, being a red dream was not on my bucket list, but here we are, I guess. There's an error in the console. That seems like a good, good start. I see nothing wrong with this. Ooh, I had to do two in a row here. Ooh. There we go. Look, look, look. I'm understanding this. I, I get this game now. I assume that's level one complete. Okay. Uh, this is going to be an issue. Uh, never mind, it wasn't. I am just that good. Little did I know that, by going into that weird orangish orb, I had in fact entered the hardest level in the game. Level three, for, for some reason. You know what, let's see. Oh, those are much closer than I thought it'd be. What? The perspective. Um, why can't I jump? No. Wait, am I able to grapple onto one of the other ones? Nope. Do I just have to make this jump? No, okay, never mind. I just can't make that jump, I guess. Maybe it's like Minecraft where you have to go diagonally and it'll go faster. Oh my god, is that actually how this how this works? Okay. Yeah, so... Well, here. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, in certain games, so they cap your forward momentum and they cap your, like, sideways momentum, but they you can add them together and it's faster. So I guess in this game it, that's the thing too. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but you know what? Yeah, look at that. I just easily make that if I, like, line myself up correctly. There, look at that. So we have sideways here. Let's see. Look at me go. Okay, so now I gotta do this again. <laughs> there we go. I don't, I don't know why. Is that actually like a game mechanic though? Because that's not a very like conventional game mechanic and they don't like tell you about it either. You know, this is this is the type of thing that I would expect to see in a game called Bean. Which, you know, is in fact the title of the game I am playing. Oh wait, I'm stupid. I wasn't paying attention. No. God. And I then then I just overshot it. Okay. Why didn't I, why make this the third level? Like, there was a significant increase in difficulty from the last level to this one. I feel like, maybe, maybe like level 10 or something I could see this, but... Really? Like, is this a game mechanic that I'm gonna have to constantly use? So I don't know if I really want to deal with that. I don't know if I really want to deal with that. Oh my god, I made it. Okay, now I just need to not miss this. I guess I have to jump. Okay, I made it, made it, made it, okay. <laughs> I see. So the game tricked me in the first couple levels. This is actually just a difficult game. Okay, well let's see. No, <laughs> Why, 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 why? That's that's the question I'm asking myself today. Okay, so here's so I'm gonna aim right in the center. Like, okay. Oh, we're gonna stand on the center. We're gonna grab this. Nope. I guess I have to hit it directly from the 
swing. I can't. Oh my, thank god. Thank god that's over. Let's see, what do I have to do now? This doesn't look as bad. Oh, this is... Honestly, now that I've, like, gotten a little used to it, I meant to hit that. This honestly isn't a terrible game mechanic. I mean, it's not, like, a particularly great one. But, like, I don't know, I mean... At least it makes it it's something different, at least trying to play the game sideways. You know. What's that? Why why is the collision on these so weird? Like I don't fully understand that. Maybe I have to switch my momentum. Maybe that's the key. Maybe I have to not fall into the lava. That's probably also part of the key. There we go. Okay, almost there. There we go. Look at this. Yo, I mean, I did it. I am the bean. Honestly, other than that one level, the rest of the game was pretty good. The diagonal movement tech was used a couple more times, but it wasn't overused, and there was a decent amount of variety between levels. In general, the movement was solid, and my only real issue with the game was how short it was. Overall, I think... Wait, what's that sound?